Okay, we could extend the analysis here in this particular spreadsheet. And uh, copy and paste the content. Delete some of the detail. And we could extend the analysis within the data table to take on board uh, a more extended frame of reference. So, for instance, we could set this cell F4 again equal to the Black Scholes value. And we could put in our initial values of 1 and 0.2, so uh, we can see the values are correct. And then just examine the effect on this Black Scholes call time value by considering a range of different stock prices or underlying values and a range of different volatilities on the horizontal. So for the different stock prices, again we could go in tens and go up to, to 10, 210, and then we could consider we could consider different volatility levels. And we could think of 10%, 20, 30, 30 and so on, perhaps up to 60%. And generate a data table for uh, this set of parameter inputs with uh, variation. So again, go to data, what if analysis, data table, in terms of um, the, the roads, the volatility, or sigma, and in terms of the column, we're looking at stock prices. And click OK, the table fills in. Then create a parallel table where all the variables are kept live. And pull the value down, pull the handle down. And we can delete the apex cell and then just graph. And go to insert. We look at scatter graph and we take this option here. And what we observe is the effect of different levels of volatility in terms of the value of the option. And it's clear if we if we make the graph slightly bigger. That as the volatility increases, the value of the option increases likewise. And that seems to be true for the entire range of Black Scholes valuations. Uh, one last thing we could try is to import a grid reference and make clear that on the horizon uh, horizontal axis, we have S, or value of the underlying. And on the vertical axis, we have the value of the option itself, so the payoff, option value, payoff, option time value.